Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy, No Name. Let's get right into it. So, league started a couple of weeks ago, and it came with a lot of changes that I need to finally go ahead and, like, process all my thoughts on. But I've been able to finally process my thoughts on Scarabs. So that's why we're here, right? I'm going to talk to you about Scarabs and the things that I really like about this update. Some things that I think can afford to be changed, but mostly just things that I like, because I feel like there's enough negative discourse around Scarabs. And I'm not really here to be like, GGG, stand behind me. I don't... I'm very critical of the things that they do, but I feel like there needs to be more appreciation given to the core of the changes here. What the, the changes actually mean, and then we just focus more on giving proper and constructive feedback on things that look like they need to be changed in order to make this work better. Because the core of what got changed is phenomenal. When we get into it though, you know, if you like this type of stuff, liking the video really helps uh you know helps me a lot lets me know that you actually rock with this type of content or also you know subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of either this content or other things that i'm doing all that great stuff now let's get into it when we talk about this the core right i mentioned the term core of the new system what am i meaning by that i'm talking about the fact that like now there's one less step to atlasing right like you map through your maps, scarabs, and atlas tree now. There's no longer a sextant involved. And there's pros and cons to that, right? I'm not going to pretend that there are no cons to the removal of sextants from the game, right? We're not going to pretend that that's not a thing. But losing a little bit of top end, or specifically speaking, the way that the top end has formed previously feels less bad than how much good i feel like has been done with this update because now mechanics are engageable easily for those of you who aren't or even even people who do like trading realistically we've all gone through the process of trying to buy sextants so that we could start like really getting into our mapping even like at Alkingo, it was always efficient to just have like a stack of fucking like pack size and gloom shrine and whatnot sex since lying around and that got fucking annoying at least until tools like pov stack came around that made it easier to index other bulk selling sources because POE, the trade site it did not do sex since well at all and so you couldn't buy them from there uh, but then you'd go to like tft and you'd be reading through these gigantic walls of text and then finally we stack came around to help streamline that process a little bit more and it became a little bit less unbearable but realistically that's just more setup time that got really annoying I'm like well, fuck man we just all want a map right maybe maybe i'm wrong but i, I just want a map y'all i just want to put the map in and get the blasting and so little stuff like that after some time just gets kind of hiding especially as you know the more trades you have to commit to, the more times that you might just get ignored and then you like start beating your head against the wall and you're like, fuck this game, right? We don't want that. So being able to actually just get the mechanics that we want on the tree, infinitely better. Infinitely better. I don't even think it's almost, I don't even think it's close, quite frankly. Again, some top end losses, which better were at, eh. I don't have an opinion right now on how I feel about the top end losses. It's, it's kind of difficult to say whether or not those are massive problems or not, because it's like, oh my God, top end is getting so nerfed. Uh, and then, I mean, earlier this league, we had multiple different strategies that were printing like raw divine, raw mirrors even per day. Right. So it's hard to say if top end is really like quote unquote dead Right, because there were so many things that changed all at once and everybody was so preemptive to freak out but now that i've seen it in play here's the the things that are really working well access to mechanics feels incredible the passive tree related to this though is a little bit tight on points i feel like now but that's a topic for a different video i feel but it's just something to think about that the fact that we have so much access to mechanics now makes us like really like burn points on the tree and that could be looked into or related to that we're not actually using scarabs to alleviate that pressure and i think that's supposed to be like a designed intent of the changes 
because one of the downside things that i want to talk about here is the fact that like some of the like quote unquote rusted scarabs or the base scarabs think like regular expedition scarab or regular legion scarab and whatnot some of those regular scarabs all they do is replace the effect of all the chance nodes on the tree uh you know thinking like blight thinking expedition for example right those mechanics already they can't be stacked so if you go plus if you go this area it contains a blight encounter all of your chance nodes that say chance to contain a blight encounter are pointless and that's a problem because that's what a lot like that's a lot of the travel even just going to notables outside of the one big wheel that most mechanics get for buffing encounter spawn rate there's little stuff like that to tweak right but overall the access to mechanics feels good the juicing to mechanics is somewhere in the middle some mechanics really benefit more than others especially from things as such as like what scarabs can be stacked um like for example it just like as a specific example of a problem child here the legion scarab is too efficient but that's not a legion pro that's not legion like scarabs problem uh again maybe i'll address this a little bit more in detail in the in the alice video but like if you want to know why legion is always the way that it is it, it's not to do with the scarabs it was never to do with the sextants or well it once upon a time was to do with the sextants and then they moved that sextant mod to the tree i'm talking about emblematic anyways other thing right but because there's so much power in like the tree for something like legion you only really just need to stack more legions in your map the scarabs don't provide enough power in trade right in trade they don't provide enough power that's another distinction that i've been finding very important to make as i think about this uh because the follow-up two takes are things that i think really lean together on why i'm so positive on this system overall one of them is just that scarabs are very accessible that like we can talk about like the drop rates in particular of like the giga juicing horned scarabs and all that stuff but like let's be real for a moment everyone the strongest stuff has always been pretty hard to get our hands on and i don't feel like the horned scarabs are absolutely out of reach i think it's more of a real statement to say like div scarab of curation and completion are out of reach um but like scarabs for the most part at like the baseline level feel extremely accessible they feel really easy to spec into farming which means that even in non-trade play it is very e it is notably easier than it has been historically to get our hands on proper juicing materials that feels good as well then we lean that a step further talking about scarabs that are very clearly not super trade focused right um two really good examples of this are the Expedition Scarab of the Scald and Legion Scarab of the Sakema. Both of those scarabs are scarabs that just focus on spawning the rarest tribe of the respective mechanics or Expedition and Legion. And that's a very SSF thing right there. Like, you're never going to catch yourself running that in trade. But you might realize in a stuff like I'm just so many Marrakech Legion Splinters short that I just will use Sakema for a couple of maps. In trade, you just buy more, buy, buy the fill in, right? Who cares? But like some of these scarabs do really strong effects that are just not valued in trade because of the way that the economy works, right? There's so much to talk about with scarabs, but I think that kind of some like hits a lot of my core points let me wrap it all together right all together the system is good at its basis the idea that the mechanics are more accessible and there's reason to engage with them early that scarabs drop early enough that they're worth engaging with that the mechanics in the game take are more and more to the forefront fantastic the downsides, however, are the fact that I do think the top end could use a little bit of work. Again, T17s for a bit of allowing, right? T17s are kind of throwing off what I would consider to be the baseline understanding of how strong things are. A, kind of a different topic in and of itself, right? But that's something that we should be aware of is that like the top end 
could feel a little weak, but I do like the idea of going tall on mechanics. Maybe it's something as simple as just adding a sixth map device slot. Maybe it's buffing up some of the scares that are underperforming. I don't know. I'm not the designer on this game, right? I'm not the one who has the vision in play. I'm just kind of speak. I'm just the guy speaking on the things that I feel like are lacking in some regards. And then also in talking about something that's lacking, it's, it could be used in its own video, but I feel like Ventrua already did a much better video talking about this than I would be able to put together, even though I have some strong passion about it. And I might talk about it a little bit anyways. But with, with, with Scarabs being so acquirable in this current form, and all of the other changes that have happened over the past like two years, Betrayal is really hurting for a place in the game, right? Just, but that's not the fault. Like, that's not the Scarab update's fault, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, like, we can fix Betrayal, but the system that we have here, where mechanics are accessible, and they're useful, and there's cool, unique effects, right? Like, guys, we got an Anarchy Focus Strat as an endgame juicing strat in the year 2024. Uh, all my time playing PoE, Rogue Exiles have been nothing more than a means for Chaos Recipe. And we found a way to giga break them for for farming uniques that is fucking sweet right like that's awesome and i think like that's the power of like things that we get as we experiment more with these new scarabs there's uh new scarabs all over the place that i feel like i could be that we need to be testing uh, i'll just drop one of them here because i'm not afraid of my secrets being leaked i make enough money no matter what anyways I would check out Delirium Scarabs. Maybe not this league, but as things to start to settle down and things start to become more clear, being able to farm Delirium in T17s to print I-84 clusters is something that I've been looking into doing in the private league once my character is strong enough and it 100% looks like it should be profitable in trade just to like drop I-84 12 passive minion clusters on the regular you know what I mean like that just feels like it's gotta have some raw innate power to it so that's also like and that's just one of the many things that I've been worrying up in my head thinking about things that could actually be worth touching um anyways that's truly everything for me uh, if you like the video again liking it really helps me out here subscribe if you want to see more of what we do uh i am live on twitch occasionally that link will be in the description and i say occasionally because like, it's kind of a when i feel it type of thing uh similarly i'm in my discord a lot actually between just like messaging in it or like i might even be a voice in it feel free to join the discord and stop by and say what's good or, you know just the extended conversation there if you've got thoughts about scarabs drop them in the comments for me i just want to like see all of the discussion around this stuff just getting more and more opinions for you know my research base anyways thank you guys for watching i've got to get back to blasting you should probably get back to blasting too and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out